Hey. How you doing? I'm sure you are. God, you had a hell of a night. Mine was all right, you know. Bar was busy, but it was, you know, the usual suspects, usual stuff. The floor was going nuts, though. The restaurant part was going absolutely insane. Oh, I know. I was I was back in the kitchen a few times tonight. Yeah. I mean, the waitresses were going nuts, and I just kept hearing the bell ringing. It was like, order up, order up, order up. So, I mean... I had the bar covered, I just went back and started grabbing plates and dropping them on tables. I know, I came in the back, I saw you, holy fuck. You had like a mountain of dishes around you, and you were just like washing like a machine. I know, you must be exhausted. Yeah, crazy night. It's all right. My uncle will be happy, though. He'll be bragging to all his buddies how he made so much money tonight, right? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I heard you got accepted. To the art school. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. You're going, like, are you going to start? What is it, like four months? You know, wait. Wait for what? Really? Why would you wait a year? Okay. Well, it's still very cool that, you know, you got accepted, so congratulations. <laughs> well, I'm kind of celebrating tonight, too. Okay, remember I told you, like, I don't know, last week, I said, I've got this thing going on, and if it works, it's going to be really cool. Well, it worked. <laughs> and it's really cool. <laughs> no, I don't want to say what it is right now. I, I'll, I'll tell you later. I promise I'll tell you later. But, you know, it's, it's really cool, and it worked out, so I'm really happy. <laughs> well, thank you. I will, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Uh, but that leads me to my next question. Because, okay, in my week becoming pretty cool, like, uh, I got a little windfall out of it. So, my next, or my first question, actually, is, <laughs> uh, did you get a chance to eat? No, neither did I. Uh, what were you going to do for food? Really? Well, that means you got to do that, like, really long subway ride and then go home and then physically make something to eat before you can eat? <laughs> That's too much work. It's too much. It's, like, way too much. <laughs> okay, I have a better idea. Okay. Um... I feel like celebrating, you know, that this all worked out. And I'm really hungry, and you're really hungry, so will you come with me? I'm going to take you out to dinner. Yeah. Yeah, I want to take you out to dinner, okay? We'll, we'll go get something to eat, and then we can both celebrate. You got accepted. My thing worked out. It's going to be cool. And then... We've been serving people all night, right? You know, we've been working for other people all night. Why don't we just go park our butts and let somebody else bring us food? It'll be cool. Come on, come on, I can see it. You like this idea. You like this idea. Okay, what are you in the mood for? Anything, anything. What are you in the mood for? We're downtown, like, I mean... Just tell me what you're in the mood for. No, I get that too. I mean, I'm so hungry I can't decide. But I think I know. I think I have an idea. Steak. 
Want a steak? Yes, a steak. <laughs> well, it's been a little while for me too. Okay, well, if you haven't had one in a while and you're starving, then let's go. Let's go have a steak. Well, we're downtown. Okay, um... <laughs> let's go there. Yeah. It's right across the street. Why can't we go there? But that's the whole idea. <laughs> it's the best steakhouse in town, so that's where we should go. Why wouldn't they let us in? Why wouldn't they let you in? What are you talking about? You look amazing. Well, yeah. Yeah, they probably do have a dress code, but, um... Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go over and ask? We'll ask them if they have a dress code and if we have to, you know, if we can get a table. Come on, I'm in the mood for steak. That It's the best steakhouse in the city. So let's go check it out. I mean, you know, our money's as good as anybody else's and like, I'm sure they'll give us a table. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, come on. Just don't, don't worry about it. It's just a restaurant, right? We're just going in to eat, it's not a big deal. Okay, don't worry. Okay, well, well, we're here, okay? Okay, wait, come here, come here. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go in, okay? And I'll ask. I'm just going to say, like, hey, can we get a table? And see what he says. It'll take two seconds. Just wait here, okay? Trust me, just wait here, okay? Wait here. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay? Good evening, John. How are you? I'm well, thank you. No, actually, I have somebody with me. Um, I have a girl. I'm bringing her to dinner. She's not exactly dressed under your code. That won't be a problem, right? Okay, excellent. Thank you, John. One more thing. When we come in, can you make out sort of like you don't really know me? Just treat me like a regular customer. Okay, thank you. It'd be great if I could get the staff in on that. What? Sean, can you get Sean? Sean, come here. I, I'm good. How are you? Listen, I'm bringing a lady in. Can you act like you don't know who I am? I'm just a customer, okay? Great. If you could pass that on to everybody else, that would be very cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Come on, we're good to go. Yeah, they're getting us a table right now. Come on. Okay, come on, come on. <clears throat> Hello again. Okay, excellent, thank you. After you. What? I know, it's pretty snazzy, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry, this is going to be good. It's going to be good. 
Thank you. Drinks? Would you like a drink? Come on, anything. Wine. Glass of white wine. Okay. Sweet, dry. Okay, a glass of dry white wine for the lady, and I will have a club soda. Okay, thank you. I hope he's back with the menu soon. I'm really hungry. <laughs> it is nice. Well, I bet the food's really good. Yeah, I just, I felt like a club soda. No, I didn't really feel like a drink. <laughs> do I? <laughs> I hardly ever do. Hmm. Well, just wasn't in the mood for one tonight, so. Oh, hold on. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Look at these things. They're huge. It's like the biggest menu ever. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. This all looks really good. Oh, I think I know what I'm getting off. What? Don't, don't worry about that. It's expensive because it's really good. Just order what you want. I told you. I had a really good week. My thing worked out. Okay, so don't worry about that. Just pick what you want and order it. Yeah, I think I do. I think I do know what I want. I'm going for this one. I'm going for the I'm going for the ten ounce jobby. Baked potato. Woo. Good to go. What about you? One, no, no, no. No, get the bigger one. Well, you can try. You can try to eat it all. No, go for the bigger one. It'll be better, trust me. Okay. No, just do it. Just do it. If you get the smaller one and then you finish it, you'll be like, oh man, I wish I had like those extra bites. Then... <laughs> Okay. Okay, well then I guess we're getting the same thing. Okay, cool. Oh, perfect timing. Yes, yes, we're ready. Okay, ladies first. And I will have exactly what she's having. Okay, thank you. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so good. Why don't I drink? Who said I don't drink? Well, you've never been around when I'm drinking. I don't usually drink at the bar because I'm working. So, you know, I figure it's probably not a good idea. When's the last time I had one? <laughs> this is like interrogation room. Okay, okay, fair enough. Um, I want to get to know you better too. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've had a drink. Yeah. There's a reason why. I don't really know if we need to get into that, though. You want to know. It's kind of dark. Is it? 
I don't want your life to be dark. Alright, fine. I used to go out with this girl. I really liked her. I loved her. But they didn't think that she was worthy. So they put a lot of pressure on me to stop seeing her. I didn't want to. This led to them distancing themselves from me. So we wound up getting an apartment together in actually the building across from where you live. And it wasn't a great neighborhood. It was a shitty apartment. We were really screwed for money and we started arguing. Probably because of the pressure from my family, lack of money and just other assorted things. And she was kind of depressed. So anyway, we had a fight one night and like it was a bad fight and I got really pissed off and I went out and I called up my buddies and I said hey you know let's just go have some drinks I gotta blow this shit off so while I was at the bar she called me and I saw the number and I I didn't answer it because I was still really mad and I kept drinking with my buddies and then she called again and I didn't answer it and she never left a voicemail and then it got really late it was close to last call and then she called again and I didn't answer it and then I got home and I was really drunk and I walked in I didn't hear anything. I walked around and I had to go to the bathroom. And I went in the bathroom and she was in the tub. She killed herself. I guess I didn't listen loud enough. You know? She was trying to tell me things. I wasn't listening. And then she tried to call me that night, and I didn't answer. And if I had have, she'd probably still be alive today. It killed me. It really did. It really killed me. And I went into a dark hole. And I just drank. And I got really high, and I just turned into a train wreck. And at that point, my family just disowned me. They just kind of went like, you're ridiculous, and you're out of here. So, so I just kind of fell down a spiral, and I went through this whole bout of selling stuff that I had to pay my rent in between eviction notices being taped on my door. It was a really shitty place to be. But eventually I pulled myself out. And now I'm here. But I don't drink now because it's not because I'm afraid I'm going to keep drinking. It's because every time I do, I feel the same way that I did then. Because I basically lived drunk and stoned for a very long time. And it's an ugly feeling that I remember. So every time I drink, a little bit of that feeling comes back and I can't do it. So I just figure if I stay away from it, I'm okay. So far, so good. No, it's fine. 
it's fine you know it's almost like the more I talk about it the more it gets easier I just I don't know I wish I had answered that phone oh, oh. incoming dinner is here are you hungry all right let's do this thank you no we're good this is excellent thank you okay let's eat oh wow <laughs> that was really 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 good you loved it good <sighs> well should we get dessert <laughs> yeah I don't know if I have room either oh god I'm full <laughs> Shit, that's right. What time is it? Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't want you to miss the last subway. Okay, I will, um, I'll settle up and we can get out of here. And then we'll get you to the subway, okay? All right, okay, hold on. <clears throat> Sean, excellent job. What do I owe you? take this <laughs> no 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 be quiet just take it you were awesome tonight everybody was all right you have a good night okay we're good we can go okay come on You too. You have a great night. Bye-bye. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> right? I know. It was good. Okay. Right. right. Um, I'll walk with you. So you're, you're nice and full? Okay, good. That's what I wanted. So maybe you can take that bag out of your pocket now. There's a bag in your pocket that's full of scraps that you scraped off plates before you washed them tonight. And I'm assuming that's what you were going to eat for dinner tonight. What? Look, look. No. Okay, stop. Stop. Look. I'm not saying this to make you embarrassed or feel ashamed or anything like that. I'm saying it because I'm worried about you. I don't know. Just... I've been watching you do this for a while. Okay? And I'm not the only one. The cook is a friend of mine. And she's been telling me that she's seen you do this. Like, on multiple occasions. Is this what you're living on? Okay, fine. Fair enough. It's none of my business. I'm just, I've known you for like probably over a year, okay? I know we're usually just small talk and shit like that, but I dumped something heavy on you tonight. You asked me about something and I told you. So I'm asking you this, is this what you're eating? 
Okay, great, you eat what you have to, but this is wrong. I know my uncle doesn't pay jack shit for dishwashers at his place. Okay, I know that. I know what you make. What? He's my uncle. He owns the place. I, yeah, I know what you make, and it's not much. That's why you're not going to art school this year. That's why you're eating scraps off other people's plates. It's because you're broke. No, I don't feel better. It's not a matter of feeling better. I already told you. I was where you are right now. Okay? I've been in your spot. I've been in a, probably a darker spot. I don't know. I don't know what you're going through. All I know is what I see. And what I see is I see somebody who is broken. I see somebody who's been beaten on by life. I see it in your eyes. I see the way you look down when you're washing the dishes. I see it in everything that you do. When you say goodnight to me and you leave to go get on the subway to go home, I see it in your eyes that you don't want to go there. I remember that fucking place. We live there, me and my girlfriend, not in the same building, the one across. It was fucking terrible. The neighborhood sucks. The building is depressing. Half the time, the fucking heat wasn't working. <sighs> Brilliant. So your heat's not working. Okay, why does this bring all this shit back to me? This is what I don't want. I don't fucking want this. I don't want you to go there. I know. Okay, look, I'm fucking nuts, all right? I don't know. I mean, we know each other only so well, but I see a lot of things. And when I see you in this spot, wearing fucking running shoes when it's this cold. Right. You wear them because they're comfortable. You wear them because it's all you have. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to just blurt all this shit out. But for the record, I've been thinking about it for a very long time like a very long time. This has been eating at me. Seeing you do these things. I'm sorry. Maybe I should just mind my own business, but I can't. I already told you my story. I couldn't save my girlfriend. She's gone. I couldn't save her. But I see you, and I see this spark inside of you. I know you want to go to this art school. I know you want to do so many things. And I know that you're beaten down so badly by all of the shit that's landing on you. All I want to do is help you. Look. I've got a really crazy idea and I don't really give a shit I'm just gonna say it and then you can think and do what you want I have a place where I live it's really big it's really big and it has a guest room that sits empty all the time my place sits empty a lot of the time because as you know I go away a lot right I go to other cities I do other things you could have this place you could just take it the room is like really big it's big I <laughs> mean and it's private. I mean, if you wanted it to be just yours, it could be because it's kind of like off from the rest of the place. So 
it's sitting there. It's empty. I go away a lot. You know, like, I mean, you could take this. You wouldn't have to pay rent. You know, it has heat. <laughs> it's warm. And you'd kind of be doing me a favor because normally I have people come in to look after it when I'm gone, but I wouldn't have to if you were there. And it's just sitting there empty and you wouldn't have to go to that, that fucking godforsaken apartment. And, you know, there's lots of food there and everything. You wouldn't have to scrape food off plates to eat. It's there. Okay, I know this is a lot to take in and you're just like, what the fuck? I get it. I understand. But you know what? We have to go that way anyway. We're going to walk right by my place. How about you just, you come in and you just look at it for like five minutes. Just come in and like check it out and go, you know, eh, you know, like figure it out. It's there. I don't want you to go to that place. I don't want you to feel like this. I don't want you to have to live like this. Why you? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because I see so much of me in you. And I see so much of your situation as where I came from. I just want to help you. That's all I want to do. And before you think anything stupid, I don't want anything. I don't want anything. All I want to do is I want to help you. And by you being there, you'll be helping me. Okay? You'll be looking after my place. I won't have to get strangers to do it. I know you. You'd be there. You could look after it while I'm gone. And if you want to just, like, chill by yourself, like, wait till you see this room. You're going to like it. Just come and look, okay? We're going that way anyway. Just come up for, like, five minutes and have a look. All right? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, come on. Let's go. No, we can we can walk there. It's like it's it's like 3 minutes away. It's I can see it from here. <laughs> it's here. Yes, I live here. I'm not kidding, I really do. We're going in, so, like, I'm not kidding, I live here. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay, now when we walk in, you're going to see the security dude at the desk. His name is Lloyd. He's really serious. Like, he's so serious, it's funny. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to see Lloyd. Okay, okay come on. Okay, okay, there he is. See him? He's a riot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> We're gonna go up. Good evening, Lloyd. I'm very well. How about you? Good, good. Everything nice and quiet tonight? That's good. That's good. I'm I'm glad you have everything under control and everything is secure. Excellent. <laughs> you have a good night, Lloyd. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going this way. Elevators. <laughs> I told you. What? <laughs> don't, don't don't say anything about his haircut. He'll get upset. <laughs> Okay, no, 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 not those. We're going this one, this one. Yeah. No, this one has a fingerprint thingy on it. Let's see, hold on. <laughs> because those go to the regular floors, and this one just goes to my place. Yes, yes, you'll, you'll see in a minute. 
Okay. No, it's here. Okay, after you. No, you have to hit the button. There's only one. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> it's PH for penthouse. Yes, I'm in the penthouse. <laughs> um, I'll explain that when we get there. Just... Well, because it opens up into, like, the living room or whatever you call it. The first big room when you go in. You'll see in a second. We're almost there. Okay. We are here. There you go. Oh my god. Yeah, it's kind of big. Everything in here is big. It is a little insane. Yes. It's big. <laughs> now you know why I need people to look after it when I'm not here. I know, my aquarium is almost the size of my entire wall, so... Yeah, it's big. Everything's a little over the top in here. Mm-hmm. It is a nice kitchen. <laughs> well, I think that's the biggest fridge ever made, so that would explain that. It is really big, but I mean, if you got a really big place, you need to put really big stuff in it all these cupboards I haven't opened like 15 of these in I don't know how long I don't even know what's in them and I just basically use like these so <laughs> yeah that's the living room you have to walk down a bit well yeah if you slide those doors open then you can go out onto the deck and then if you go around to the other side of the building and you go up a few stairs, there's a heated pool up there. Yeah, it's a little excessive. <laughs> but it's nice. It's home, you know. <laughs> um, well, I can afford this because I'm not. I'm not really a bartender. I own that bar. I gave it to my uncle. He said he liked it one day, and it was for sale, so I bought it, and I gave it to him. And I worked there a couple of nights a week because I used to be a bartender a long time ago. And with the work that I do, it's just kind of a nice little escape. So I've basically told everybody for these two nights, I'm not here. And they have to listen to me because I own the company. <laughs> Whichever one that may be. This place? I don't know what it would cost because... I own the building, so, yeah, I own this building. <laughs> I, the whole idea of me being at the bar was that nobody knows who I am, nobody knows what I do, nobody knows what I'm worth, so it's like an escape, and that's why I didn't say anything about it. Well, that's an interesting story. Okay, I told you how I was going out with this girl and my family didn't approve. I was born into money. 
my family is very wealthy and everything was going along I guess the way it was supposed to and then I started seeing this girl and as I said they disapproved so that led to a lot of conflict and then at one point because I didn't want to give her up for their money and they called my bluff they pulled my trust fund they took all my money away um, I had to move out I didn't have any money I uh, scraped together 2000 bucks and borrowed some money from my friends and I put first and last down on an apartment and then proceeded to get just absolutely annihilated for a very long period of time so needless to say I was very alienated from them and they basically left me to rot in my own devices so I was fucked eventually like I said I pulled myself out and uh, I knew how to make money my dad taught me how to make money so I started playing the game again little by little and you know I get some gains I'd invest I'd get some gains I'd invest and anyway I'm here now and of course the beautiful part is my family totally welcomes me with open arms now because I no longer have that disgrace to the family and I have proven my worth at being you know somebody who can make it on their own well fucking thank you but anyway that's me that's who I am and uh I do a lot of different things and I make a lot of money now and that means I'm in the position to help you out follow me now, if we come down here and we open this door voila Yes, <laughs> I told you, it's a modest little apartment. You've got a kitchen, a living room, couch, big screen TV, a bathroom with a jacuzzi and a shower and a bathtub, <laughs> if you want one, <laughs> and uh, a entire wall wardrobe, which unfortunately is not filled with clothes there's a few in there that hopefully you can use to like wear to bed if you wanted to stay which I'd really like I really like the thought of you staying here and not going back to that place and not feeling those feelings and not being in darkness like I was This is yours if you want it. Free of charge. No rent. No strings. No anything. I don't want anything. I just don't want you to be there. I want you to stay here. There's tons of food in the cupboards. There's like munchies, drinks in the fridge, anything you want. It's up to you. If you want to go home, I'll put you in a cab right now. If you want to stay, you'd be doing me a favor, and you wouldn't have to pay rent anymore. You wouldn't have to go back to that place. You wouldn't have to eat scraps off of other people's plates. Please just stay here with me. You can do whatever you want. And one last thing. The people who look after my place, I pay them. I pay them a lot more 
and you make washing dishes. If you did this for me, you could stay here without paying rent. And your pay would be your tuition in four months to that school. Well, I haven't done it yet. If you say yes, then you can believe I'm doing this. Let me help you out of this hole. Let me get you out of this. Take this room. Stay here. Take a breather from life fucking beating on you. If you stay here tonight, there's your bed right there. You can get in there, get all cozy. You can even have a bath or a shower, whatever you want before you go to bed. There are some clothes in the wardrobe that you could wear to go to bed. I'm pretty sure there's pajamas in there. Just stay here. You can go if you want. I'll get you a cab. But why? Look at this. Just stay. Have a good night's sleep. Have breakfast with me. Good. Good. I have some work I have to do. I have to go to my office. Remind me to show you the pool tomorrow. Yeah. If you go down into the living room and you open the big glass doors, you go outside, you make, go around the building and you make a left, and you go up a few flights of stairs, and there's a pool there. <laughs> I told you the place was big. You look tired. Don't worry, you still look beautiful, but you do look tired. Go get some sleep and I'll see you in the morning. If you need me, I'll be in my office. Of course I have an office. <laughs> if you go past the kitchen and you make a left, you'll see a hallway. You go down there and my office is in there. If you need anything, come and get me. You're welcome. You don't need to thank me, though. I should be thanking you for letting me help you. I'll see you in the morning. You too. You have a really good sleep. Good night.